This man, this this man in the brown outfit, brown shirt that is working with this little kid right here, is one of the is one of the old school trainers of this game. This Hall of Famer, Mr. Jimmy Williams, worked with John the Beast Mugabe, Antonio Tarver, worked with me. He's worked with some of everybody. We gonna see if we can get an interview with him. Right. This right here, this man right here is, is very very special in my heart. We go way, way, way back. I mean, when I first started living in Tampa, coming to Tampa, this old guy would come in the gym. Almost 20 years ago, he'd come in the gym. He would, he'd be at Calters and everywhere, and he'd come in. He would say, he was his favorite thing. That boy, that fight like he from, from fight like fight like somebody that, that knows something, showed him something. And um, he was always a big, a big proponent of teaching the game of boxing. So as I was watching him work this young man right here, I kept saying, I don't even know who this kid is. I don't even know who he is, but I know he's getting good tutelage. This right here is the, the world famous, world renowned, Hall of Famer himself, Mr. Jimmy Williams. Uh, thank you for that. And look here. He knows how to himself. I see him knock out people out there. Uh, Nate, thank you for that comment. But I'm still a child. I'm still learning. Even though I've been in this game about 70 years. How you know, many numbers, Jimmy? I'm, I'll be 91 July the 13th. Wow. I'm, this man is still wow. at it. See, this is the kind of interview that, that you can sink your teeth into. Mm -hmm. Now, let me tell you something. You know a little bit about Mr. Jimmy, uh -huh. just a little bit. But you don't realize, so Mr. Jimmy go back to guys like John the Beast Mugabe, Tony Tarp, myself. And we, we all sat under his tutelage. And Johnny Walker, I mean... Oh God, Johnny Walker! God, <laughs> he. We was in the gym one one day. I, me and Johnny Walker broke out fighting. But see, a lot of folks don't realize this. Uh, I was not going to be showed up in front of Mr. Williams, yeah, uh, even though the guy was his fighter. Uh, uh, yeah, Johnny Walker was a good, yeah, good kid. He fought Marquez. He, boy, everybody fought Marquez. Yeah. He was in Detroit, Michigan. He be the king fighter. Box. Oh, this kid can box, but he can punch. But he didn't with Nate Campbell, who can take you out with one punch. See. The whole idea, the only way you can deal with this guy, you got to move, but but, he, but Nate could not only punch, he could box. He's a slick, good defense fighter. He always give me those accolades. I'm, I'm glad you're giving me who I'm living, though. <laughs> look, listen, but, these are the flowers, baby. These are the flowers. And if you, and look, listen, if you in the Tampa area, if you're ever in the Tampa area and you ever get a chance to sit down and talk to Mr. Jimmy Williams, you should really sit down and talk to him yeah. and listen to some of the things. This man is a treasure yeah. trove of knowledge. Yeah, you know, his uh, box is a thing. It's built for human beings. You ain't got but two hands. You can't go more on time. And your hand, see, the most important thing in boxing, I, I'll tell guys, uh, is the foundation, good balance, you know. And I, I tell part, I say, man, when you're fighting a guy, you his target. He's your target. But the beautiful thing about the, uh, the targets, my, the targets lay on your leg. When you move yourself, you move in the target. You understand? Yes, and, and the thing about it, you have two type of fighters. One, you can make a quit. One, you have to knock out. If a fighter ain't got no heart, all that go out the window once you get hit. But you, you got to have the inner. And, and you have will and you have skill. Will is a guy who will fight, will get up. But that's a guy called skill. Skill would beat the will if he's in condition. But the real champion have to have will and the skill. Will is the technique. You're doing it, when you do it by technique, you're doing it from the mind. Other, the physical, you do it from the body. The mind and the body got to be parallel. As I think it, I can do it. But the most important, I train a lot of kids, physical body, and when, once they get hit, they quit. I said, gosh, man. Then I realized you got to go to the inner man. The inner man means you have to have pride. You have to have the guts. You have to have intelligence. You don't outfight the man. You have to outthink the man. We all got a body. I realized, I found out, if a man touched me, he just measured himself. I could touch him. And I'm trying to teach these guys to use the intelligence. Because the chin is a, not a muscle. You got to move your head. The jab is the most important thing. I want to block your vision, create space. Since we suspended in animation, you are matter. I have matter. What I want to do, I want to hit you, which is matter, and I make you hit space. I'm not going to lean, lean on you. See? We the balance 
In other words, we should spin in an animation. My, my left jab is to block the vision. Then it got to create space. Then I got a bad guy on that arm. It's the hook outside. My jab, I'm going to hook up the out. Now, if I call, I uncall. You either go, see, when, you, when, you, when you're walking, we're falling. We catch each other. So. Wow. So I said, so no, I'm falling. I'm falling. What's my weight? I whop. Every time I put, and I, and I uh, throw the hook, I'm calling. I come back with the, with the call. The power and calling. Calling and falling. So I'm falling with you and I'm calling. I'm dipping on you. I'm slipping on you. I'm bang, bang. I'm stepping out the back door. So the idea, you don't stand in front of a guy unless you're doing something. But some guys don't listen. Talking to them like pouring water on a duck's back. <laughs> and the guy who listen, I could teach anybody who listen. I want to say this here. Uh -huh. You have just been educated by the professor in this game. I'm gonna give y'all something, and then we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna get out of here. Oh, back in back in um, September of 2005, I think it was. I was getting ready to fight a guy by the name of Kid Diamond. I was training over at a gym called Hurricane Boxing, and um, this 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 young man walked in and said, "I just want to come over and talk to you about some things." Right. About a week out. Right. And I was in good shape, man. I was looking good. I was feeling good. And um, Mr. Jimmy said, this, 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 this kid can't fight you. He can't fight you from the inside. <laughs> and I said, excuse me? He uh -huh. said, you're too slick for him. He said, you got too much flavor. <laughs> and I said, yes, sir. Uh -huh. He said, you, what you got to do is you got to fight this kid down the line mm -hmm. and step off the line. Right, that's right. I said, yes, sir. He said, when you go out, get all, get all, go off the line, go out the side door and keep touching. Right. I beat Kid Diamond. I jabbing him, stepping around him, setting him up, hitting him down the line. Right, that's right. Beautiful. It was easy work. Right. So what you got to do is understand that if you listen to this man right here, mm -hmm. if you can't become champion with him, you were not designed to be champion could by I, the universe. Could I show you what he's talking about? Going on a straight line. But when I go on the line, I hop outside the line. The line, I step outside. Outside, outside, down the center. And what happened? This guy, Nate, is a good listener. He heard me, and he respect me. You can't learn unless the guy respect, respect you. He always respect me, and I always respect him. I love this man. He does his job, and I don't care how I look, if the, the hat but anything this man tell me to do, I'm gonna do it. I love him, man. I'm, I'm blessed to know this man. I just wanna thank you guys for tuning in. Again, your boy Nate Campbell, Mr. Jimmy Williams, the legend himself.